What's up, YouTube? Make sure uh, y'all subscribe to my videos. Make sure y'all hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you can keep getting these videos when they drop. And make sure you share my videos. Before I get started, I just want to say, how is everybody doing? Hope your Friday is going well. And uh, enjoy the rest of your enjoy the rest of your uh, afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your evening. However. Now, people have made, uh, a couple of people made a video about uh, ASAP Rocky's attorney being shot, you know, so, and some information was uh, sent to me, so I was like, okay, let me go on and, this is not really an update, you know, because this is about his attorney, but I just decided to, you know, put my spin on it and get my opinion on what I feel happened with the shooting. You know, and like I said, somebody has shot ASAP Rocky, uh, ASAP Rocky's attorney in the head and chest. You know, this is this is the attorney who had represented him in his assault case out there in Sweden. According to Forbes, he was shot in the chest and head by some unnamed uh, male assailant. Now, ASAP's attorney reportedly called the police itself. And was quickly taken to a hospital you know the, the police the police have since arrested several suspects for questioning although as of right now it's being treated as an isolated incident now see this incident i see this incident as being isolated you know i really don't it, that's what they saying but i really don't see it as being isolated you know when someone is harmed in such a manner especially an, an attorney who has just represented a high profile celebrity everything must be scrutinized you know someone purposely wanted or needed this man dead you know the the, the officials in sweden were pissed at asap rocky and i believe this may have been a warning to any other sweden attorneys who feel they want to represent a black celebrity and i get to another uh, thing which I felt he may have been shot for uh, in just a couple of minutes. Now, I'm not going to say it was the Illuminati or some other secret organization because I really don't know. You know, everybody get mad. Everything doesn't have to be the Illuminati all the time. You know, I mean, people get mad every day and people with money, when they get mad, they could have you hit. You know, they don't have to be a part of no secret organization or Illuminati. And like I said, I don't know. So, you know, the circumstances surrounding the nature of this shooting is very skeptical, though, and comes into question. You know, so now and, and some witnesses claim to have seen a person attack the lawyer and wrestle him to the ground in a stairwell shortly before he was shot. One of the people brought in for questioning is a senior lawyer who was previously banned from uh, contacting Legia. You know, that's that's the attorney who was uh, shot. That's ASAP Rocky's attorney's name. Now, it's mighty funny how this lawyer that was banned was in the vicinity of ASAP's lawyer and wasn't supposed to be around him, apparently. You know, as this case grows, I'm willing to bet anyone that it would just, uh, either this case would just go away and never be heard of again due to witnesses either coming up uh, harmed or dead or ASAP's lawyer either dying from his injuries or being afraid to talk about it any further, you know? Because like I said, what was this senior lawyer doing around him? And check this out. I don't know as of yet why this senior lawyer was banned from being around ASAP's attorney, though it must have been something serious that took place. And why would they use him or even question him as a witness? I don't believe he would get a, uh, adequate information to the authorities in Sweden if him and uh, if him and Legion was into it. You know, it really doesn't make any sense at all. And this happened at an apartment complex where this attorney resided. So what in the fuck would this senior attorney, who was banned from being around him, be at his uh, be at his apartment complex? Why would he be there? You know. He just magically appeared or, you know, does, does he reside in the same exact apartments too? You know, I don't, I don't know, but I know that's fishy. You know, I know that's, 
that's super fishy in my eyes. And uh, another, a few other witnesses said that a black SUV fled the scene with police in pursuit shortly after the shooting. But they apparently don't have any real suspects. Now, people's, this same black SUV is always involved in shootings when it's celebrities or high profile people. You know, do you see the similarities? You see where I'm going with this? You see the similarities with other cases where there was a black SUV involved in the shooting and celebrities were involved? Always the police barely arriving just after the shooting takes place. You know, how, how do they how do they get to the shooting that quick? How do they know? You know, you you have to call first and report it. Then they di the dispatch to the location. But in every situation, it's always a shooting and the police just happen to arrive and then it's a high speed chase. And somehow the suspects end up getting away in this black SUV that's always seen around the world, you know, and they never they never get any suspects. You know, in my opinion, this was a failed hit. They attempted to they attempted to delete and block this man from existence, you know, and it failed. Like I said, he called the uh, police himself after he was shot, you know, and he was shot in the head and chest. His current condition is unknown at this moment, and I will update you guys as I get more information. And like I said, the police haven't caught the man that did the shooting, as if they ever will. This type of behavior goes on around the world because it's always the same culprits involved, you know always the same culprits involved and for them to say that they don't have a suspect and then you you heard me say earlier in the story that they uh had a few suspects that they were questioning alleged suspects see this is crazy because they always say they have alleged suspects and then they come back and say they don't have a suspect they don't have the person who did the shooting you know so who are who are the other people that you have? Why are you questioning other people if it was just one person who did the shooting? The shit don't make sense, you know? It makes sense, but it don't make sense. Now, anyway, it's always the same exact setups and the same exact people with money behind it. It's always the same scenarios, just a different country. That's all it is, people, you know? Might not be the same shooters, though it's the same exact setups and the same exact people with money behind it. You know, I, and I do want to add this. I do want to add that this attorney that was shot was replaced with another legal team before ASAP's trial started. So they removed him and replaced him with another uh, legal team before the trial started which lets you know they didn't want him to represent uh, ASAP, you know, some more fishy behavior in my eyes. And it's being said that he represented uh, Kiao Jian Jun, however you pronounce his name. He's a Chinese. He's a wanted fugitive from China who was on the run since 2011. And apparently he was apprehended in uh, Sweden. You know, he was accused of embezzling millions of dollars from a few companies in China. And he may be involved some type of way, and this lawyer may be involved with him. You know, some people are speculating and believing that this lawyer may have got mixed up in some business with the Asian mob. And, you know, I, I don't know how truthful this is at all, though America wants to extradite this Chinese guy for some things he allegedly done, but Sweden won't permit it. So, you know, it's it's... It's so much more. It's a lot more to this story. And like I said, I'll update you guys when I receive more information. But uh, again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can keep getting these videos when they drop. And make sure you share my videos so people can see what's going on. You know, peace out.